Okay, Eagles fans, you're going to have to just stand by for a few minutes. Let's talk college football. It's here on Monday Night Countdown. The countdown also continues to Saturday night in New York City. We're at the PlayStation Theater in Midtown Manhattan. The 84th Heisman Trophy will be awarded. We have the honor of announcing the finalists right here and right now. And I am joined by two Heisman Trophy winners from 1991, Desmond Howard. Always great to have you here. That was a long, trail. long time ago. Well, 1997, 1997 also seems like a long time ago. Exactly. Charles Thanks, Woodson. Susie. So the guys have the finalist invitations in their hands. One of these guys who they mentioned right now is going to win the Heisman yeah. on Saturday night. So Desmond, get us going. Well, thanks, Susie. The, the moment we've all been waiting for. So on behalf of the Heisman Trust and based on the information provided by Deloitte, we're pleased to announce the finalists for the 2018 Heisman Memorial Trophy. Our first finalist is Ohio State's quarterback, Dwayne Haskins, number seven. The sophomore has 47 touchdown passes this year, a school record and the most in a season in Big Ten history. He threw for 499 yards in the Big Ten championship game and the most ever by a quarterback, Ohio State quarterback. He's trying to become the first quarterback from Ohio State to win the trophy since Troy Smith in 2006. All right, Who's for two? our second finalist, quarterback, Oklahoma, Kyler Murray. He's been responsible for 51 touchdowns this season, tied for the most in FBS and the second most in school history behind Sam Bradford's 55 touchdowns in 2008. Murray can become the fourth Oklahoma quarterback to win the Heisman along with Bradford, Jason White, in the 2003 Baker Mayfield from last year. And our third finalist is Alabama's quarterback, Tua Tonga Bailoa. The sophomore has 37 touchdown passes and only four INTs, the best ratio in the nation. He's been responsible for four, a school record 42 touchdowns despite only throwing eight passes in the fourth quarter. He led the Crimson Tide to a 13 0 record as they look for their second straight national championship. Okay, so as you can see, here are the three finalists for the 2018 Heisman Trophy. A quarterback has won the Heisman in seven of the previous eight years, and another quarterback will join the Heisman fraternity this year. Two of the finalists will be on the same field in the college football playoff semifinalist. So it's Kyler and Tua. And Desmond, Tua, it seems like, has been the front runner for a big part of the season. Yes, but where do you think he stands now? I tell you what, you know, ever since that national championship game, he came in the second quarter, the second half and played just outstanding against Georgia. He's been the front runner. He had a great season, there's no doubt about that. But in the SEC championship game against Georgia, Georgia really came after him, affected him. He had the, you know, Charles, he has that type of talent that he knows he can make every throw. Yep. But because of that, he always wants to make the big play. And then sometimes what we saw in the Georgia game, he held on to the ball a little too long sometimes, getting sacks, taking losses, things of that nature, which put Alabama in jeopardy offensively. And then he actually went out with an injury. And I think uh, the way he was playing, 50 Cent sent his dad a text message saying, hashtag, get the strap. Get the strap. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, in Georgia, man, they played a phenomenal game up until the end. I, 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 didn't, I didn't like the, the, the fake punt call yeah, at the end of that, that game. Greatly. But yeah. they came after tour, and they made him exactly. look a little bit more average than we had seen him, true. him play. True. Um, props up to all of the final finalists. Uh, Dwayne Haskins, he played well yeah. against our school. Yes, and then did. had another yes, big game in the championship. Yeah. But I look at a guy like Kyler Murray wow. and what he did for his school, a guy who, who won the Big uh, 12 championship. Yes, sir. But just all season long, just put on offensive display after display. Yeah. I mean, his quickness that he showed, the speed that he that he showed, and all of the yards, all of these guys threw for, he threw for 40 touchdowns, Haskins threw for 40 plus. I mean, yeah. all of the yards. But when I look at Kyler Murray, the fact that he had 11 rushing touchdowns, he had almost 900 <laughs> rushing yards. Exactly. I mean, he doubled. He had more yards than both of those other guys combined. So yeah, yeah. not only can he throw the ball, but he can also elude you as a runner, and yeah. he knows how to get into that end zone. So yes, Kyler Murray, I think he helped himself late, late in this he season, really winning the Big 12 championship. 
but just awesome players, all three of these guys. So this is going to be good. It's going to be suspenseful then, right? It's going to go down to the wire because, like you said, Tua was leading all year long. Exactly. But then these other two guys late in the season. played fantastic. So did Haskins. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Great to see you. That was fun. Now,